kerosene, benzene, urea, toluene. How many of those can I feed my toddler? <laughs> Because it's perfectly safe, right? It's perfectly safe. And that's the water well. <laughs> After drilling had taken place all around Colt Davies' farm, methane from the coal seam migrated into the source of his water well. For six months, the pipe that they pump water out for cattle started screaming as if it had been tapped in to a well of souls in hell. Have you reported this to the gas company that's around here? Oh, yeah, they, they know all about it. What do they say? They know very well all about it. <laughs> what what uh, do they say to you? Oh, they just say that they're not responsible. Just a natural occurrence within this area, they said. Have you had enough there yet? <laughs> Something about coal reminded me of American farmers. Soft-spoken, quiet. He didn't dress up for the interview. Had no interest whatsoever in trying to impress us. If it's damaging our water table in Australia, you know, we're the, we're the driest country in the world. We've got this artesian water table underneath us. I think they're doing huge risk to it. Australia wasn't alone. In April 2010, the State Department, under Secretary Hillary Clinton and the Obama administration, started the Global Shale Gas Initiative, charting shale plays in over 30 countries and pledging a government-to-government -government engagement to help develop shale gas around the world. So in a matter of months, this map turned into this map. So you know that now. And to quote Calvin Tillman, mayor of Dish, Texas, once you know, you can't not know, right?